Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with yet again another banger, man. So, with that being said, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail in today's video, we're basically just doing a POV drive, but I'm also going to be kind of recapping this year and, you know, just letting you guys know what to expect come 2023. So, with that being said, let's just go ahead and get straight into the video, man. Um, depending on when you're watching this video, it's either New Year's or it's a couple days before New Year's actually takes place. So, I just want to start off by saying Happy New Year's to everybody. Um, whether you're watching it before or after the New Year's Day, it doesn't matter. Happy New Year's to you. I'm praying for peace and prosperity for all of y'all, man. I hope everything goes well. I hope all y'all stay healthy all 2023, man. All positive vibes. We're just trying to go up, trying to better ourselves. Just remember, man, don't be in competition with anyone but the person you were yesterday. That's literally the only person you're supposed to be in competition with, bro. A lot of times people allow social media, what they see on social media, to dictate their happiness or where they are in life. So don't let somebody's highlight reel make you feel that your life is not up to par or you're not where you want to be or whatever, like what you're where you're supposed to be, whatever. At the end of the day, bro, put your head down keep grinding everything comes at its own time everything has a pace bro you just gotta find that pace and run your race simple as that but let me not ramble too much <laughs> going into today's video man just a recap let's recap 2022 man so as you guys know veering off uh the end of 2021 we had a 2016 mustang gt um, that car was a handful for sure. Ended up losing it in an accident. The car got totaled out. Had no car going into 2022. No form of transportation by any means. Nothing. So, with that being said, I want to say January. Yeah, January of this year, 2022. We end up finding this car in Liberty, Texas, man. And going ahead and pulling the trigger on the car. Now, this car, for those of you guys who are new, is a 2021 Camaro SS1LE. It is a 10-speed automatic, not the manual. Little known fact, Chevy came out with the 10-speed 1LEs, the automatic 1LEs in 2020. Prior to 2020, you could not get a 1LE in the automatic transmission. It they would not do it. It's literally supposed to be a driver-focused car. So with that being said, they did not want to have the automatic in the car because, as you guys know, the old heads, the real, like, die-hard enthusiasts don't rock with automatic transmissions whatsoever. I thought that light was going to help make it look a little better. I doubt it. As y'all can see, we got the gold stars going today switch it up my wife wanted me to too but anyway as you guys know the die hard enthusiast did not like automatic transmissions it's boring you're not a man if you don't drive a manual whatever we all know the whole save the manual uh era and whatnot but chevy threw the tw the 10 speed in the 2020s and up so just to clarify that i just want to clarify that for those of you who are confused or didn't know yes it is a 1le Yes, it is a 10-speed, okay? Now, the car is currently Botons. Now, Botons is the non-ported LT2 intake manifold with the C8 engine cover, speed engineering, inch and seven-eighths, long tube headers, catless, a connect, three-inch connection pipes to a three-inch X-pipe to a <laughs> AWE, axle back track exhaust sounds phenomenal 4.5 inch quad tips polished joints of course could have went gloss diamond black but everybody does that and i want it to be different so went 4.5 and i also think the chrome polished whatever you want to call it complements the black paint 
way better than the gloss black would have. Honestly, I feel like you wouldn't have been able to even see that the tips were black. But anyway, um, so yes, that's the exhaust setup. Then it is also tuned on E85. I do have a flex fuel sensor that I got sourced through Wild Hammer Motorsports. Majority of the modifications on this vehicle are from Wild Hammer. And then finally, the car is also running a Rotofab cold air intake and it is tuned by NRG. That is literally all I have when it comes to performance modifications, okay? <laughs> still on the stock fuel system. The, mo the motor has not been opened. It's still a sealed motor obviously because there's no cam there's no head work there's no porting done at all i'm still on the stock throttle body no porting to the intake manifold or the throttle body like i said before and that's pretty much it man honestly now as far as the aesthetics of the car goes literally all i have are the extreme online store zl1 style carbon fiber side skirts i have the one LE emblems that I went ahead and put on the fenders and the rear bumper in replacement of the Camaro shield for the fenders and the granite graphite SS emblem for the one LE that goes on the back bumper. Also, I have the die the Drake dive planes that I sourced from Wild Hammer Motorsports on the front. Those are the canards for those of you who don't know what dive planes are. They're canards. And then I went ahead and threw the ZL1 add-ons rock guards on the car as well, just to kind of, you know, save myself at the car wash whenever you, you know, drive through water and it hits the tires or whatever. It gets, you know, slung up and flung up onto the body of the car. So I went ahead, put those rock guards on there, and they actually kind of help deflect that water back to the ground so it doesn't get thrown at my paint. Um, and then finally, the last aesthetic mod that you guys, man, I get asked this question so, so often, so often, okay? I'm going to tell you guys right now, my white LED side markers, bro, I got them from Amazon, okay? I got them off Amazon. Shout out to my guy, 10 Speed Creed. He showed, he showed me the link when he had uh, Dolph. I had to get them. I've had white LED side markers on every single car that I've owned, literally. It's always been a must. I, I, I just have to. It looks clean to me, and it's way better than the amber and the red that you get stock. Now, there you have it. I got them from Amazon. No, I cannot link them to this video or send you the link. Why? Because Amazon seller, the seller that I bought them from, is out of stock, and he has no restock date available like i literally cannot even click <laughs> i can't even click on the item in like my previous you know orders like i can't even click on it because it's not in stock so they won't even let me go to the page so for all of you who have been asking me dming me commenting you know what i'm saying see me in public and ask me Bro, I'm not capping. I'm not lying when I say, bro, I can't send you the link because they're not in stock. I literally cannot send you the link. But there you guys have it. <laughs> the side markers are from Amazon, okay? The side markers are from Amazon. I believe they have some up right now, but they're tinted. They're not the clear version. So I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's literally it though for the exterior as far as modifications go. I haven't done anything else. Everybody be coming, complimenting this car, saying that the build looks insane, it looks good and whatnot. And I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, but majority of those um, compliments kind of got to go to Chevy, man. Hats off to Chevy with the, with the design of the 2020 and up Camaros. Now the 2019, you guys already know how I feel about that joint. The bow tie in the middle doesn't do it for me. I can't lie. I'd rather them have kept the fact that it was a flow tie and put it back in the top grill like they did when they went out with the 2020. But the only thing is, there's no, we don't have a flow tie. We have a regular bow tie. So if they would have gave us the flow tie, I definitely would have appreciated it. Chevy, take notes. But anyway, 
yeah that is pretty much it for my exterior that is it for my motor and then the interior now as you guys know from previous videos previous vlogs i have literally flooded this entire interior with carbon fiber from the carbon fiber steering wheel to the carbon fiber knee pads to the passenger side airbag cover to the radio cover to the start stop button covers <laughs> it's literally carbon fiber everywhere and then you already know the ji galaxy had to go ahead you feel me and get 1150 stars put in this joint definitely different but anyway yeah man that's literally the rundown of this car we were able to do that successfully all these modifications in less than a year on a car that only now has 26,000 miles so in less than a year and in 16,000 miles we've built this monster so I just want to give you guys, I just wanted to give you guys a recap, man. You know, all the modifications that were done to this car this year, a little recap of this year, and now just a little, I guess, I don't know, I guess a little teaser for what's coming in the 2023 season. Now, basically, uh, I'm only going to say a couple of things, and I'm going to leave you guys with this. The exterior is getting a whole bunch of carbon fiber. It is also no longer going to be black this come this time next year. And finally, the vehicle will be, Vader, will be boosted by this time next year. All right? That's all I'm going to tell you guys. That's all I'm going to leave you guys with. I'm actually going to wrap up the video here. I'm sorry if you guys want to know more. <laughs> You gotta stay tuned, man. Just turn on those post notifications and smash that subscribe button for the kid. And just stay tuned with all the vlogs, stay tuned with all the uploads, the shorts, all of that, man. We're going crazy on all platforms. TikTok, JI Productions, Instagram, JI Productions, underscore, YouTube, JI Productions. We're going crazy, man. Make sure you guys are tuned in with all platforms, following all platforms, post notifications on for all platforms, man, so you don't miss any live updates, any live streams that I do on TikTok or Instagram. Golly, motherfuckers be taking 30 years to turn, boy. But anyway, on Instagram, on TikTok, and even on here, I might start going live here um, in 2020 more. So, I mean, in 2023 more. So, just make sure you guys are in tune with all the content that we got coming out, man. I'm going to keep doing my best to put this content out for you guys. I'm going to keep doing my best to keep it entertaining. And I'm going to keep doing my best to keep you guys on y'all feet, on y'all toes. And hitting y'all with these curveballs and all of that. So, with that being said, man, that's going to wrap it up for this video. It's actually going to be, this is actually going to be the last video of 2020. Oh my God, why do I keep saying that? This is going to be the last video of 2022, man. So with that being said, I'm going to be signing off right now for the last time in 2022. If you guys haven't already, man, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Damn, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Signing out. 2022 man it's been your boy ji i've had a blast can't wait to see what 2023 has in store for us man let's go ahead and roll that outro and i'll see y'all in the next one peace